So do you want to go here before we wrap it up then? We got yeah, the yeah, dra- yeah. we got the draft coming up and we got free agency coming up right next week, uh, yeah. October 6th and October 9th, yeah. the draft and then free agency. What do you think's fucking shaking down here? How do you see this playing out? Is like I There's um, only one thing playing out. The Leafs are on the prowl. Yeah. They're yeah. Gonna, for a right hand that pick and they're going to trade it with someone else. They may not, but I think yeah, I think that's the top priority. They have to let a top. They have to land a top defenseman. If they don't get, if they Petrangelo, but maybe you know what I mean. There's it's it's one it's one forty five in the morning. It's last call at the bar, and you are scouring for whatever tail is left to take home. I think that is the Leafs at the draft table. Yeah, that's when everything goes down. So you're right. It's early in the night. It's early in the night. (laughs) Here's why I think the Petrangelo thing is actually actually possibly gonna happen i think it is too i be- totally believe it is be- because look i the st louis do it listen do the same the st louis thing looks like it's like he doesn't he hasn't appreciated the offers and blah 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 whatever okay he, 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 Jen last year he's he's up. he's from he's from toronto apparently he wants to fucking come home apparently this, these are what I've, i don't know personally they always, they always want no to come but home. these some credible people are saying these things and the Leafs are like one of a handful of teams, maybe now with COVID, the only team that can front load his fucking deal yeah. so that here's all you, you come play with us for the next that six or normal. seven years. We're going to, you're going to get our cap. It's going to be this, but you're getting all your money yeah. October 9th. You're getting half of the contract on October 9th. That's what he wants yeah. from St. So, Louis. So if I'm him, I'm like, I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to Toronto. I'm going to yeah. Toronto. They're going to pay me however half of my fucking contract on October 9th of this year. Of course I'm going to the fucking lease. And that's why I think there's a real possibility he's going to well, sign with the fucking see, Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't sign him for seven or eight years. If they can do like well, four or five years. They're going to have to. He's not going to do that. Nine? He's not going to do that. No, if he goes to the Leafs, it's going to be a Tavares thing. I'm coming and I'm not leaving. I'm staying. That's the only bonus that the Leafs the have years, because – Yeah, the Leafs can say, here, here's $9 million up no, front. And we'll pay, uh, they don't do that. They don't do that million. anymore. That's against the CBA rules. You can't do that anymore. That's what teams did. That's what Barry and Hosa did when he signed his 12-year oh, contract. Oh, it's a signing bonus. The Leafs just did it. No, their signing bonus means the salary is paid, and it has to be paid even if there's a strike. So that's why guys really like signing bonus. You guaranteed bonuses. the money, yeah. You guaranteed the money. If you're a salary and you get paid every 15 days throughout the year, if they go on strike or there's a lockout, you don't get that money. That's right. But if you have a signing, bo- if you make $8 million and seven is signing bonus, yeah. you still get that $7 million. Yeah. Who fuck your 700000 or whatever it is. That's why we talked about this uh, another time on the podcast, but the Leafs take a lot of flack from like the Carolinas and the Ottawa's that they use that. Matthews, yeah. Marner, Tavares, Nylander, they all get it. Because the Leafs have the money to do it. Right. It's a way Why to get free. Your muscle? If it was because they can't. Down, Carolina and, and Ottawa and, and Arizona, they can't do that. No. So they well, complain yeah. about it. Oh, fuck. But well, that's, the only reason, that's the only reason he would come here, and that's the only reason I would want him to come here. I, is, if, if, is if he signed a reasonable contract and he did it for the signing bonuses and only signed like four or five years. Cause what, like, what's, like, what's, Derek, like Derek said, I don't want him here eight years. What's re well. Okay. What's yeah, reason. What's reasonable. What's reasonable. I would mil- say eight million if he takes 8 million and seven, seven of eight? it, seven of it, yeah, you get paid on get October 9th. Salary cap, right. And they may move somebody. You don't. Mo- Montreal just signed fucking Petrie today yeah, for 6.25, 6.25. So if Petrangelo is not getting eight, he's getting eight plus. It starts no. at eight. It starts it, nothing lower than eight. Peach, Petrie, six point two five. I don't think people teams are going to do it. They can't. But Montreal just did it. I know they fucked it a bit, but I know I, I saw uh, the headline on Sportsnet from their Habs writer was that nice job. The, no, it was basically the Canadians will love this deal in the end. Yeah, well, good for them. Fucking knock yourself out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah, he's a I will, point fucking defenseman. Good I have you. I have reserves about signing uh, Angelo at eight years. years. Holy fuck, Ryan's gonna want. What's he gonna want? Okay, you you get imagine this. They sign. They find a way to fucking get Petrangelo done. Okay, you got it. You trade Janssen. You get Kerfoot will be gone. Maybe Johnson. not. 
PC gone. Yeah, well, Fuck no, them. of course. But like they find other ways to find free up some money elsewhere. So you, the big fish is P- Petrangelo. So you got Riley Petrangelo. Maybe they signed the fucking Ottawa dude. Who's the defenseman from Ottawa? Bor, Bor, Bor whiskey or fucking yeah. But I don't know what's. So you could probably get him for fucking a couple million, and he's a like you. Him and Muzzin would be a good fucking second pairing, would but it not? It's not, but you. It's not just this year. No, no. But I'm saying you, like like Derek bit, said, I, Riley's got a contract coming up. Dermot's got a contract coming up. Like, I don't care. Yeah, Dermot, they can, if they don't sign him cheap, then fuck him. I know. You're not a big Dermot fan. Are you? Have you he can I, skate. I, That's about how many times has he pinched? Oh my God, in the playoffs and cost the Leafs. You've seen it. Dude, ha- hang on, guys. Who, 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 what, what, who, who are we talking about here? What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about Travis Turner. We're talking about Alex Petrangelo. I know. Like, I know. Let's be fucking serious here. If he wants to come, I'm sorry. People rip on JT for fucking whatever. I'm fucking stu- – JT scored 50 goals. It's almost. insane. 49 it's goals insane. two years He's ago. And already guys are like, it was a bust. Lee, it was a bust Lee, of a signing. Lee, 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 Lee's Lee. fans should be down on their hands and fucking knees praying that it was JT that decided to come and not fucking Steven Stamkos. Okay. Imagine that. Imagine, remember all the old Stamkos, Stamkos is coming up. Holy fuck. You imagine they threw the money at Stamkos and he can't even fucking play a game? I said that. And now, see how hurt he is? Imagine that. We would have been losing our minds. But he, Tavares is like the fucking Energizer Bunny. He's in every game and he gives it every game. Every yeah. game that guy yeah. shows up. He never takes a night off. And I agree. What? I Honestly, agree. Other than the first game of the Columbus series, he took it to another level. He played good. He played really good in that playoffs. Yeah. The only First thing that yeah. the only thing that uh, the only thing that Tavares did that kind of bothered me was signing the big contract because then it led Matthews and Nylander and Marner to all want more money. Hundred percent, without a That's doubt. That's it. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. But like, like we've talked about this before too. Like fans say, like, oh, they shouldn't have signed Tavares. It fucked everything up. Blah blah blah. Well, those same san- okay. fans. You probably could have got Matthews and Marner for less. Okay, but Chad, Tavares- we've talked. We're talking about this. But that's it. The Rantan type deal. Nine, nine and change. He's but not. Those, but as soon those, as but those, but those for eleven. That I was know. It. But those but same fa- well. those same fans that are saying that now about JT would have been saying at the time if he would have signed in San Jose or re-signed with the Islanders yeah. for the same fucking money. Lamorello was offering him the same fucking deal. The same deal. Lou Lamorello. So, like, the, why, oh, the Leafs fans would have been like, he wanted to come. We've talked about this before, Jack. Didn't, he, didn't he, San Jose offer him 13? 13, yeah, 13. They, they were, yeah, they offered him more money. But, like, he chose in, in to – he wanted to come home. And if you imagine if Dubas and Shani were like, well, sorry, sorry, we can't do it. We got to wait yeah. to pay Matthews and Marner in two years. Sorry, JT. Not happening. Fun fact, that happened once in the 1990s. And uh, can, do you know what? who the player was? What? What happened? Ronick? There was what? a huge player, a massive superstar who wanted what? to come home to Toronto. Oh, Wayne Gretzky, but, buddy. Wayne Gretzky. Anybody? The Leafs said he wanted to. Who kiboshed that? Was it was it JFJ or was that before no, him? No, the, no before this is in the nineties. But anyway, the, whoever was in charge back then, I forget who it was, basically said, and this is no salary cap, and you're the Toronto fucking Maple Leafs. And they well, said, was oh, it, that, who, who, are we, who are we money. talking? Steve, Steve Stavro or was Steve fucking... Steve Stavro. It was that who, who it was? was? That's who it was, like, man. wouldn't pay Gretzky. Are you wouldn't pay Gretzky. Me? With no salary cap. You could give him whatever you wanted. Didn't matter. Wait, where did he go? Was this after the Kings? He went to the... I think he went to St. Louis after this okay or yeah, maybe well, the rangers it was rangers, before one of the he maybe it was the rangers off. he wanted no, to finish it i think he, he wanted to finish his career yeah. he wanted to finish his career in toronto so but he the, came the to least, the Leafs and he's Leafs like this is this is what i want for money and they're like oh that's too much yeah that's too much. the richest team in hockey are you kidding me there'd so still this, there'd still be fans wearing fucking lee gretzky oh, they'd still oh be selling lee gretzky god. jerseys now oh my god dale i would fucking sleep in a gretzky jersey if he ever played for the Leafs. Play for the Leafs? Holy greatest shit. player ever to play the game playing for your team and yeah. you bicker about a few million dollars brutal brutal man fucking stupid and people complain about dubas well wow. you imagine you know. <laughs> wayne gretzky wayne gretzky 1c doug gilmore 2c now that's a fucking lineup that'll win you a cup yeah, no yep. doubt. 
But anyway, anyway, so let's before we wrap it up. So going into the draft and going into free agency, like what do you think? So I'm I I hope they do. I know the money the money aside, I would like to see them sign Petrangelo. Maybe it doesn't happen, yeah. but if it's not Toronto, I don't think he's going back to St. Louis. So if it's not the Leafs, where is he going? Could be Vegas. I hear Vegas is up there. Keep hearing Vegas. You ask his wife. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, true she'll, that. She'll, t- she'll tell you where they're going. If the Leafs keep their pick, it's a deep draft. Man, they it can is. get a good player pretty if they if they hold. I don't think they will. I think it, he did this. It, it makes zero. It makes zero sense in my mind for them to keep that pick. Zero they're sense. Because we need to do something now. We're ready yeah, now. He's you got, got to do something. So. You got four years to win win this motherfucker. So I don't, can, and I don't. Do you guys see Anderson going anywhere? Because I don't see him going anywhere. Anderson well, Anderson won't play this year for the Leafs. You don't think so? You're nope. that convinced? Who do you? Th- where do you think he's going? What do you think is the, out there? I think Anderson has proved he's got one year left on his deal at five million. Well, where is he going? But, but here's the best oh, part he's about got one million. They no, already one million bonus. cash. The, the one million ca- cash. Five Whoever million cap. Whoever picks him up is a million. So so that yeah. makes him very attractive. Exactly. Very attractive so to teams it, that need to hit the like, floor. If you want him for a million? You're giving me this and this. He better not. Yeah. He could be able to get a. Good and there deal is it. There is another uh, benefit to paying guys all at once. Because when you go to make trades with lower teams that don't for have a lot a of cash. Bucks? You're like, Look it's a five million that. cap hit, but it's only a million cash. Look what Allen just signed with uh, Montreal. Was he four and a half? There you go. You're gonna get Anderson for a million bucks. They the lease would be oh, able no. to trade the lease would be able to trade Anderson to probably I could name ten teams like know, that. Like well, that. And I think that Anderson really Anderson and his agent have already said they're expecting a call. Okay. Like they're expecting a call that he's been traded. He's got to be working the phones. That we're not hearing nothing. I'll bet you there's something going on. He's already figured out who he's going to bring back. Could be Holpe. Could be Flurry. Maybe there's a trade there. I don't know. That's pretty high cap. I don't, I don't think so. I don't I, – I don't, I'd rather go younger. Like, I, we, Chad and I talked about the you – tra- you, you don't need to trade Anderson and have a, goal, a goalie come back. You can trade him for a fucking defenseman and a no, prospect or something else. Kind of, but kind of free agent. There's yeah, like agent. fucking Markstrom from Vancouver, the fucking – He's incredible. Oh, I don't know about Markstrom. I'm, I'm not oh, sold dude. on that goalie. I take him over Fred right now. He's twenty. He's really? five years. He's five years younger, and the guy's proven that he can fucking. I don't know. I don't know. That's I'm gonna go. Wrong. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. What about Jack Campbell? I don't think he's gonna no. be your starting goalie, Is he man. Number but, one? No. But we know. We know Dubas and. You know who's, you, who's Dallas is starting goalie in the Stanley Cup final. No, I good know. Point. Well, good point. They're, they're backup goalie. But, good point. Good point. I'm just saying, you never know. Everyone that, that's the thing about Toronto is they put players on pedestals where they're better than they actually are, and mm-hmm. they shit on players that are better than they sit like when they say they're really bad, they're better than that. And backup goalies in Toronto always get this the shaft it's that they're not that goalie. good. I don't know. You never know. You never know. I don't. You never know. But I don't think it. I, I'm definitely keeping good, Campbell. The games he played, he he did well. I think Campbell's well. great but as I, a backup. His attitude, I don't, man. I his don't attitude is phenomenal. Well. And he also was rocking a stash towards the end. I don't know if you hell caught that yeah, or not. Oh yeah. But uh, look, 20, man. Twenty-five games. I don't know anymore. Are, are, are you are you telling me that you couldn't see at the draft? Kyle Dubas making a couple deals, one of them being Anderson going to, I don't know, Carolina or somebody for, for somewhere a, for, for, a def- for, a, for, for a defenseman and maybe yeah. a pick or a prospect and him making an, a secondary deal with the Pittsburgh Penguins maybe. that could include Matt Murray yeah. and Chris Letang. I don't know. I, he he robbed the Penguins of a first round pick. I know, that, and then I thought maybe the pick goes back. Matt maybe Murray, the pick goes back. Think, but I don't think Matt Murray's coming. To, I thought that he. I don't want Matt Murray. Murray. I don't. I don't, I don't want, want Matt Murray. Letang. I think Latang can't stay healthy. I don't but want Chad. Him. You know Dubis and his boys. He loves his boys. I know, but I don't. My personal opinion is I don't think Matt Murray is the answer. You don't think that he would be at least as good, if not maybe an upgrade over Freddie Anderson? He's only no. 26. He's won two Stanley Cups. Oh, I know. I know. He's, he's kind of like a Bennington. He's shit in the bed now. Uh, but a fresh start somewhere else? Maybe. My eyes my eyes are on, are on Vancouver and Columbus. Yeah. That's my f- those, that's young guys that's Columbus? my first stop. If you're gonna get one, Columbus get a young one that's cheaper that you can build up. 
Columbus has got both those guys for tied up for a, the next couple of years, less than ten million. I think it's like around nine million total yeah, for they, both of them. They they're not tra- they're not trading both. Yeah, but like there could be a deal there. You never know, you right? Never know. You got, was traded you and got, turned down. You got Seth Jones and Wierenski coming up for free agency in the next couple of years, both of them. So you think they, like, want to trade their – I don't know, man. Like, are they going to stay? They might, but no, – but Maybe the Leafs can work out some – you know, give them – fuck who knows. Nylander and something else and get a goalie and who knows. Right. The, the, way things uh, are, the way things have – okay, quickly. Well, you want to end it? You want to end yeah, it? Yeah, let's wrap this up. The way things – quickly. The way things have been going with, like, them, the Leafs signing uh, the, the assistants, Manny Maholtra and Paul McLean, mm. not really on the radar. Didn't really – we were talking about Boudreaux and, like, we didn't really see that coming. I kind of expect Kyle's going to continue down that road for the remainder of like how he goes about you, his business there you two are both old goalies have you have you called kyle is he looking for late kyle. 30s early 40 goalies he keeps giving me the <laughs> flush he keeps yeah. flushing it number keeps saying not in service so i'm not sure who i'm phoning but <laughs> i've left him several voicemails but one time i got the brass rail and i, <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going on oh that, i think i think i was there that night I think I, I think I was there that dale, night. dale got covid from brass rail oh yeah, well, no matter. i mean you know but just so you know, yeah, you they announced today in though. Ontario that strip clubs are now closed. Yeah, uh, I know. Oh, I know. That's in it. bars and restaurants, did you hear this? Last call, 11 p.m. I know. Yeah. What the hell is that? I'm just getting warmed up. I know. Well, well not now, but. I know. Well, Back in the day, day like. I wouldn't even show up till midnight. Yeah, you would You would sit at home and, and you'd go 10, 30, 11 and head down yeah. to the bar. Now it's closed. And then quarter to one, you're kicked out already. Yeah, you know, there you but, go. It's crazy. You know. Anyway, uh. Yeah, we'll wrap, we'll wrap this up. Derek, thanks for joining us on the Tip in Maple Leaf podcast. Absolutely. You'll have to come back and be our – You're like our you're like our old man who argues all the things <laughs> against us. Oh, it's man. Good. It's good. You start playing again. You, I got to take a piss, but, yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, for the Tip in Maple Leafs podcast, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the Tip in Maple Leafs podcast, on Twitter at the Tip in podcast. Email us at the Tip in podcast at gmail.com. I'm Chad. I'm Dale. And until next time, we will catch you later. All right. Hey, guys. Dale here from the Tip in Maple Leafs podcast. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can also follow us on Instagram. You can like us on Facebook to stay up to date with everything the Tip in Maple Leafs podcast has coming in the near future in regards to the new season with the Toronto Maple Leafs, a few other things as well. You can also listen to our podcast on all podcast platforms, Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, wherever you can listen to podcasts, we're there. The Tip In Maple Leafs podcast. We'd sure appreciate your support and we'll see you soon. Catch you later.